Crunchbang was once a very popular Linux distribution for old machines. It was incredibly lightweight. So lightweight, in fact, that it didn't even use a full desktop environment, but rather a window manager. For years, the small, speedy, and efficient distro served many low-spec computers. However, in 2015, the head developer discontinued the project. He believed that users would actually benefit from using Lubuntu, Puppy Linux, or even vanilla Debian with a lightweight desktop environment. Because CrunchBank was so loved and adored by many, various forks of the distro have been created in an effort to continue providing an up-to-date version of CrunchBank. Today we will be taking a look at one of those forks, CrunchBank++. Before we start, Huge thanks to Ty H for recommending this video. I have just installed this Linux distro onto my Gateway GWTC1162 laptop. And right off the bat, I noticed that the distro is indeed very minimal. It comes with very few apps installed and a very bare bones desktop. The taskbar has the window icons inside of the workspace switcher, which is interesting and something I've never seen before. Since the system was designed for low-end machines, the user interface sacrifices good looks to save on system resources. Because of this, the user interface is not very attractive. But you know what is attractive? JPT Merch. Available in any style and color you want. Price is starting at just $12, link in the description below. Moving on to resource usage. The system uses about 600 to 700 megabytes of RAM and about 4 gigabytes of storage on a fresh install. CPU usage is incredibly low at just 1 to 3 percent without any programs open. CrunchBank uses Debian 11 as its base, giving it a wide availability of apps and games. After installing a few games, however, I was unable to find them from the start menu. That meant I had to manually run them, which was a bit of a pain. Thanks to touchscreen support directly from the Linux kernel, CrunchBang is usable on a touchscreen. However, with the exception of basic kernel support, there is no additional touchscreen support, which means touchscreen users miss out on gestures, the on-screen keyboard, and many other useful touchscreen features available on other Linux distributions. CrunchBang was purposed as a minimal system that saved on system resources. While many may desire to use CrunchBang++ on their machine, I personally have to agree with the developer on this one. Most computers capable of running CrunchBang++ are also capable of running vanilla Debian, Lubuntu, Puppy Linux, or another lightweight distro that offers a much more complete user experience. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you next time.